you don't have to pretend to be me. It's very distasteful. Thank you. And lastly, I wanted to tell you all that you do not know my side of the story. The media has a great way of getting a narrative and twisting it for its own benefit. The media love any story to be salacious and sensational, and they sensationalize everything. You don't know my side of the story, and we'll leave it as that for now. Actually, no, whilst I'm here, and this also has to be addressed, whilst I'm here, you don't know who has you, you don't know who your real friends are until shit hits the fan. Honest to God, family, friends, you need to pick them very carefully. Very, very carefully. Um, obviously, everybody knows my mobile phone number was leaked. There has been people going behind my back. Um, the media have literally been following me everywhere. I can't even go into Greg's or Primark without getting papped. It is very annoying. Um, a lot of the time, it's people who you thought got, had your back, and they just don't. And that's been really heartbreaking. On top of all of this, on top of everything, that's been really heartbreaking too. So that's just advice for everybody to pick very carefully who you have around you. She really said a bunch of nothing, if we're being honest. How can she even try to spin this? She really said with a straight face, you don't know my side of the story. No, actually, we do. Your side of the story was posted all over the internet for everyone to see. We saw every angle, mate. What do you mean, your side of the story? She's in the first stage, man. Denial. Blaming the media and lashing out on friends and family is a classic victim blaming move. She was fully aware it was wrong before doing the dirty. No accountability whatsoever. God damn. She cheated on her husband with an inmate. Imagine going through the talking stage with a woman. You take her out on a few dates. You decide that you want to stay with her for a while. And ultimately gets married to her and she cheats on you with some guy in prison. I understand why some people crash out, man. And then she comes on social media to say that that's not the whole story. Yeah, it looks pretty easy to understand to me. She's trying to get clout out of this and she probably will. Because again, what other side is there to know? You are a bop. And I'm sure you've always been a bop. Your husband just didn't see it coming. Because you don't just wake up and do what you did. She is trying so hard to get sympathy by flipping the script. And make herself out to be the victim. But we all saw what happened. She knew what she did was wrong. But didn't care. Trying to play the victim card now is just laughable. But hey. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.